Hi there. Uh, my name is Dave Balter. I'm the executive chair uh, and founder of Smarter. Uh, I want to start today by talking a bit about your resume. Uh, if your resume is a little bit like mine, you've got a couple things on it. You've got your education, you've got your work history, and you've got some major accomplishments of what you've done within that work history. If it's also like mine, you probably have a section on skills, and your skills section may look like this. I'm, I'm proficient in a few skills. I have working knowledge of SPSS. I have experience with Salesforce. Of course, the flaw in this is the fact that proficient can mean different things to different people, and working knowledge doesn't properly quantify exactly where you are next to others. This is all compounded by the fact that in today's world, we're actually learning skills through all sorts of new learning channels, and we're evolving those, whether you're uh, taking courses at Udemy, or you're uh, looking at Coursera or edX, uh, you know, all these places we're gaining these skills, yet it's becoming harder and harder to validate exactly what those mean for us. Now, in today's digital economy, we know that reputation matters. This is uh, Jen Fremont Smith. She's the CEO of our company. This is her about.me page, and you can see she's linking to all of her social profiles. So we're learning faster and faster. Our reputations are becoming more and more public, and our careers depend on the ability to quantify those skills. Okay? Now, I'm a firm believer that all problems can be solved by Oreo cookies. Okay? This one is no different. Okay? She, she likes them in the back. That's good. OK, so let's talk about the cookie here. At the bottom of the cookie, we have education. Okay? We're learning all these skills. We're having different ways uh, to get ourselves educated. At the top, you have employment. With those skills, you get employment. The cream filling, in this case, happens to be smarter, where we're able to help people quantify those skills so they can get the jobs they need. Okay? Uh, we're going to tell you how we do this, but what's important about what we do is that in just 10 questions, 120 seconds, we can quantify any skill. Okay? So to understand this, let's go back a bit to why it's been so hard to figure out how to do this in the past. Previous testing applications have been very slow. Okay? The way that people create tests in the past is they get a bunch of people who they think are smart about a subject, they have to find them, they have to pay them, they then take those questions that those people may develop and they give them to a team of psychometricians who do all sorts of funny analysis to figure out that those questions are of a certain difficulty level at a certain time and they make it really important and then they have, at the end of that process, which takes a lot of money and time, they have the test bank. Okay, now that's a finished product of a series of questions. The problem with the test bank is that in today's world, tests and skills move way too quickly. A rigid test bank doesn't properly understand that over time, those skills themselves are evolving. The tools that people are using are changing, and that test bank needs to change way too fast for the way that traditional elements are happening. Besides the fact that people now want to quantify skills that are new. I want to know how good is someone at iOS 6. I want to know, is somebody a great social media marketer? It is, takes way too long to create a test bank for those skills in order to bring them to market. Another thing that makes it very hard about previous testing uh, concepts is that once you have that test bank, it's very easy to cheat. Okay, because once people take those tests, those tests are out in market. If you look in Google under uh, test uh, answer keys, you get 110 million responses. Okay, you can pretty much find the answer to anything you want out there. And then the last thing that's a problem with previous tests, they sucked. Okay? Nobody likes to take tests. So you've got this problem that's going on out there. Now, you enter Smarter. Smarter is fun, it's fast, it's flexible, it's fraud free. Some would say we're the Tesla of testing. Okay. Okay. We're backed by Google and True Ventures. Oh, I missed my slide. We're backed by Google and True Ventures. Uh, these are the guys that uh, have helped us build the applications that we have here. Uh, let me tell you how what we do works. Okay, the first thing we do is we crowdsource test design. Okay, that means that anyone can create any test, anyone can add any questions to that test, and like Wikipedia, things are edited and changed on the fly. So if someone sees a question, they don't like it, they edit it, they, they flag it, they do all sorts of things. When a question gets to a low flag per thousand rate, it goes into our live state. Okay? Once that question is in our live state, we're able to do something pretty magical. We're able to determine the difficulty level of that question at the same time that we're able to calibrate each user's skill level. Okay? Now, I'm going I'm to show you how this works. We actually used a scoring algorithm that's based uh, on a chess algorithm called Glico. This is how it works. Let's say you're all chess masters. In the world of chess, that means you're a 2200. You show up at a tournament to play. You sit down at a table, and I'm across from you. I'm an unknown. Okay? 
What, what Glico does is it puts the chess master at the top of a curve, it puts me in the middle, and let's say I beat you. You've played a thousand games, you drop a little bit, I just beat a master, I go up a lot. Every single interaction between two players recalibrates those players' scores. What we've done is we've made the question the competitor to the test taker. So that means that in every single interaction, we're calibrating the difficulty level of that question at the same time we're able to evaluate that user's skill. Okay? What that means is that without ever touching the test, without ever writing a question, without ever editing it, and in real time, we can create normalized bell curves based on the skill level of the current population. Okay? So this is the test for Excel, Facebook, Java, et cetera. What's really valuable is these curves change as people's skills change so that we don't ever have to recreate a test bank. People just keep adding questions, keep answering them, and our tests get better. Okay? A couple other things, our questions are timed. Okay, this is based on the length of the question and a few other variables so that people can't cheat and go somewhere else and do other things. We also, tests are adaptive. They also, uh, no one will ever see the same question twice, so they're very uh, protected against any form of fraud, fraud in the market. Last thing is these are fun, okay? You've never seen tests like this. We get users who all the time, I love your product, they're addicting, I enjoyed the test, these are truly awesome. On average, 10 questions gives us a score. Most people answer 60 questions. People answer hundreds and hundreds of questions at a time because they love what we do, okay? Over time, we've now created about 800 uh, crowdsourced tests. We've had 2 million questions answered and about 20 million, or 2 million tests taken and about 20 million questions answered. Uh, this has allowed us to create the platform of the future. We're already starting to bridge the gap between education and employment. We're delivering our solutions to contract marketplaces, applicant tracking systems, and even large companies like Amazon and Expedia use us to quantify skills. So we have believed that education is forever changed, and the way to bridge this gap between education and to deliver value to the people who are actually gaining the skills is to give them something that, value, uh, that documents those skills so that they can do the best thing possible, which is get a job. Okay? Thank you very much.